storied history of the franchise, Microsoft Flight Simulator launched on a home console with the release on Xbox Series X and S last month. Reviewers and gamers alike were blown away by how well the stunning visuals and the depth of the simulation translated to the console, and that's why I'm extremely honored to welcome the head of Microsoft Flight Simulator, York Newman, to the stream. York, thank you for being here. The last time we met was at the Xbox Game Showcase, and it was getting ready to come out on consoles. How did that go? It went great. As you said, the reaction to the Xbox console launch was, uh, was really just amazing, uh, both from Xbox gamers and from the press. They've been so gracious with their feedback. I don't know if you know, but we, um, Flight Simulator is one of the highest rated games on Xbox this year, which I think is just great validation um, that, the trans that the translation of the simulation to the console has, been, has, has really worked well. Um, our usage numbers are through the roof. Uh, we are absolutely shattering franchise records, and I can tell you, there have never been more people playing Flight Simulator than right now, so it's, it's an awesome time. That is awesome. Congratulations on the launch, really, but... <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to the danger zone. So what's going on with Top Gun? There's so much going on, Paris. Um, so you and I talked about yeah. Top Gun Maverick earlier. Um, the fans are super excited. They saw the FA-18. They can't wait to start flying. And uh, as you know, it comes out later this year as free DLC alongside the movie. But as the movie is still under wraps, um, so are we. So I can still not tell you that much about it. But there's so much else going on even before Maverick. So um, um, we are continuing to do our monthly big releases that we've been doing for a long time. And next month, on September 7th, um, we are launching World Update 6. And um, this World Update, I mean, you, at the beginning of the show, if you remember, there was a little red plane yeah, flying into yeah. Cologne. Well, we did that because World Update 6 updates that region, the region of Gamescom. So Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. And what that means to us is we have new aerial and satellite images. We have a new elevation map that helps us with the mountains, so the Alps actually look awesome now. Um, we, we have new 3D cities like Frankfurt and Wuppertal in Germany. We have Basel in Switzerland. Um, we have Vienna and Graz and Austria, and, um, and those cities look just amazing. Amazing. They have like seven centimeters revolution, uh, resolution, and it's, it's, it's awesome. But, but we want to celebrate the entire region, so we picked 100 of the most scenic places, the most famous landmarks, and we call those POIs, and we sort of spread, spread them throughout the, throughout the simulation, and, um, and we also added airports. We did Lübeck and Stuttgart in Germany, and Klagenfurt in Austria, and St. Gallen in Switzerland. And, um, and what it ties it all together is, is, is missions. We're having new uh, uh, discovery flights, we have new um, landing challenges, and we have new um, uh, sort of tours of the country. So they, they fly you around all the awesome looking places and really celebrate the beauty of this region of Earth. And this, this is a celebration uh, of, of DACH, of Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. I'm so happy to be able to announce the date here at Gamescom. You know, that is really incredible, all the different regions and everything that you're going to have in the game and the, the, the way that you're going to be able to actually highlight those. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's really cool. But, you know, for us, it's actually not just the region and the visuals. We, yeah. are, we, are, um, we talked a lot. When you, when you study aviation, when you love aviation like we do, um, you actually realize that a lot of regions of Earth have a very special relationship with flying, with yeah. aviation. Sometimes it's, you know, the first experiments with aircraft or a famous pilot or a, a feat of aviation or, or like a local manufacturer. So we thought to ourselves, why do we not use these world updates to celebrate the planes? Yeah. <clears throat> so we are announcing a new series. It's, we call them Local Legends. And think about that as planes that are locally well-known, like in that region, but outside in the world, not so much. Yeah. And, but we, why not use the World Updates to highlight this, to bring these awesome machines to a worldwide audience? So for World Update 6, we picked uh, a German plane from the 1930s. It's called Junkers U-52. In Germany, it's actually it's lovingly named uh, Tante U, so Aunt U. And we think of us as sort of a digital, digital preservation. So we really want to get these planes to an extreme level of detail. We're going out of our way to really go deep. So we're doing a full scan. We take full scans of the outside and the inside, as detailed as one millimeter, which is as good as you can as you get, you get to do this. And then we're working with, for the Junkers, we work with Bernd Junkers, who is the grandson of the original creator of the plane, Hugo Junkers. And he's helping us. He had a ton of inside and materials. Then we worked with an organization that is preserving 
one of the last surviving examples of the Junkers. So they let us scan and yeah. take photographs. And, and then we were lucky that to, to find a, a pilot that actually flew one of those planes while it was still flying in the real world. And he, gets, he lets us know, like, is the cockpit right and the sounds right? Does it feel right in the air? Um, so we're having a blast working with these experts to really bring these, to celebrate this plane, to bring them back to life. So, so this is almost like you're creating like a digital museum for aviation inside Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yeah, I mean, it's basically that. Yeah. It's a museum with flyable planes. Yeah. So we're working with um, 40 museums around the world. And it's, it's honestly one of the funnest parts of the job. You, you end up working with these curators of planes. These are their babies. And they sort of see the tooth of time in the real world sort of nagging on their remaining planes. And they're so happy when we come in with our scanning equipment and we're basically capturing their planes. And they know that we can digitally preserve them in perpetuity and we're actually giving those scans back to the museum so they can do something with it just a, and it's a great collaboration and we're actually not just looking back in the history of aviation we're also looking towards the future so I have another announcement we are working with a fascinating German company called Volocopter yeah and they're making a um, an eVTOL air taxi for urban traffic so th they have a vision of the future how how these drone type uh, machines basically connect people in large cities. We're working directly with the engineering team to make sure that we are capturing their plane and their aircraft perfectly in the flight simulator. And that's coming out in November. <laughs> I mean, you weren't kidding when you're saying that there's a lot going on inside of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Is there anything else you want to share? Uh, yeah, there's one more thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, we are. I'm so happy to announce that we've partnered with RARA. That's the Reno Air Racing Association. And they, every year they put on something called the, the Steel National Championship Air Race. And we're bringing this to Flight Simulator. So it's, this is the fastest motorsport. This is right down your alley. It's the fastest motorsport on Earth. And I actually brought you a little, a little trailer to look at. So race, speed. We go into the danger zone, baby. Let's go ahead and show that. 